Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back once again to Fallout 3. We just made our hasty escape from Vault 101 with the help of our childhood friend and potential love interest, Amada, in order to help us find our father, who himself escaped, which caused the entire vault to go on lockdown, and try and murder us. So that's nice. So we need to head over to Megaton over there in order to learn of his whereabouts. But I gotta say, I already said this once, and okay, we're getting inter introduced by things. Interrupted, rather. I was gonna say introduced to things, but uh, <laughs> didn't come out well. So into the pit. DLC now coming to light. Interesting. Um, I played this extensively when it was released, the main game, but I have not played any DLC of this game. And so that stuff will be done practically blind. And uh, I would like to get some preliminary things out of the way, such as upgrades and level ups before tackling some more of the optional things because there's a lot of things that would be better left uh, until after we've leveled up a bit. So, oh, I'm Mothership Zeta. I saw my brother playing this on his file. It looks so cool. And Broken Steel apparently has been loaded. Your level, oh, I forgot there was a level cap in this game and it was really low. I think it's 25 regularly or it might have, you know what? It might have been 20. I don't know, but... Yeah, there's a lot of things here. A new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. Huh, certain years. Inter I'm really interested in seeing how all of these are going because we're getting all of them at once. Oh, man. So, there's an enemy over there. It's a mole rat! Leave us alone! I want to head over into Megaton so we can be safe. Safe from uh, enemies and things that will hurt us. So, um... I'm going to try my best not to stray from the beaten path because uh, whenever I play this game, I have the tendency to just leave and not do what I was intending to do, which means that there's going to be a lot of uh, just uncertainty and randomness in terms of where I'm going. Like, I really just want to run and see where that guy's going, but apparently Deputy Weld opened up the way to Megaton. This is the only time in the game this actually opens up. Oh, why well, thank you. <laughs> And what's interesting about this place is that this houses a lot of quests for being what it is, and we can actually determine the fate of this entire settlement, which is really interesting, and I love that we can do that. And uh, I'll get into that a little bit more as we get past the, past the uh, yeah, introductions here. Check Mains, it out. Lucas Sims, town sheriff. How's it going? Mayor, too, when the need arises. Nice. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. <laughs> Something tells me you're all right. Thank you. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. All right. Uh, how about I holler with you now? Uh, but no, really, this guy, I got to give him a little bit of respect. It is a real pleasure to meet a man who will step up and protect all of these people who probably wouldn't go so far as to even suck his dick. Friendly and well-mannered. Yeah, that's I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. All right, fantastic. So for the most part, I will be keeping a somewhat good level of karma throughout the game, you know, but I'm not going to be that much of a dick, but I will have my fair share of fun every now and then. I just I just consider being nice and doing good for people to be more fun than otherwise. So that's interesting. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something mm -hmm. I can help you with? Why, yes, there is. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's discuss this bomb. So, if you couldn't have guessed, the reason why this town is named Megaton is due to that giant megaton-sized atomic bomb just sitting in the center of the town there. It's a little bit interesting, um, but uh, let's discuss it for a minute. What about it? <laughs> what about the bomb that's just sitting there that's about to go off any minute now? Uh, let's see. Yeah, one day that thing's going to go off. You're living on borrowed time, my friend. Maybe. Maybe. No. So long as you stay away from the bomb, I see my chances of a long life improving. Nice. I hope we understand each other. Okay, so you don't mind me next to it, but the crazy folk that circle around it and praise it, you're fine with. Sounds legit. Um, but we can see about disarming that bomb for you if it'd make you sleep any better at night. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. <laughs> Go easy. Okay. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Oh, nice. Um, so 100 caps, all right, I can take a look at it. Or I don't need a reward. But for speech, for 9% of speech, um, demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. Let's try it. 
Nope. Not an option, not. I'm afraid. I figured as much. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down I here. I don't imagine it. I actually did end up minorly tweaking my stats uh, from the end of the last video, so I apologize for that. Um, so, you know what? I don't need a reward. I'm fine. Well, that's mighty uh. decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right. I'll try, even though it is well within reason for us to just let it go off. But unfortunately, you need a 25 skill set or 25 points in your skill of uh, explosives in order to interact with it. So uh, now that we're done talking about the imminent death looming right behind you, uh, what about my dad? His name is Liam Neeson. Well, come to think of it, I do he remember does some a voice acting. Coming through and, here. You know, had a look in his eyes. Indie films. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Yeah. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. <laughs> Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Colin Moriarty, you say? Oh, wait, you didn't say Colin. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for mm. a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. <laughs> to the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C., Place is a war zone. All right, gotcha. No DC, Ribbit City. Sounds good. Uh, let's go. Let's go deal some good stuff luck. right now. Careful around that bomb. <sighs> All right, so we'll deal with the bomb when the time comes, but for the most part, um, there is a lot to do here, but there's not going to be a lot to do immediately. What's happening? Which is kind of why I would You're like to start to trade, leveling stranger? up a little bit. All right, so crater site supply. That is definitely going to be our first stop, just because it's always been my first stop and I enjoyed it. But first, ah, who are you, Megaton Settler? This guy right here, Jericho, Jericho, however the hell you guys want to pronounce it. How's it going, buddy? Ah, oh, look, <laughs> another one of you wasteland assholes. Uh, look here, asshole. Oh. I don't like you. Stay clear of me, and we'll have no trouble. Well, excuse me, princess. Uh, yeah. What do you know about the wasteland? None of your fucking business. Okay, okay, you're really nice. Did I miss something? What did I do to you? I know I'm just looming over you while you're trying to enjoy a meal in peace, but still. You're from oh, hey, I got it! And I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the wasteland. <laughs> okay. You seem all right, though. So I'll cut you a deal. Okay, I, I wasn't expecting question that. So long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it. Yes, I got it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we have to pick what we say very carefully. <laughs> what do you do around here? What is your monthly salary? Uh, there ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. Hmm. But I put all that behind me. All right. Have you ever considered getting back out there? It seems like you're well versed in the wasteland. What? Back out where? <laughs> where do you think? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, hmm. stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Wow, this really the history really does repeat itself. <laughs> Killing, stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. <laughs> it's a life of freedom, you know? Yeah. But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? Hmm. These kids don't know nothing about respect. So interestingly enough. I could use a little bit of a hand. No offense, kid. What? But you're not exactly the type I'm used Wait, to Wait, what? Now I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. Uh, <sighs> styles would really mesh. Did you Man, hear that? It ain't so bad here. That was my got some palm good meeting That's with the skin of my forehead. That's Since nice. It's ruining the good ones, you know? Uh, all right, so apparently your karma is too high to acquire this follower. All right. Come back if you need some. Well, at least he's open to the idea of traveling with us. Oh, Jenny Stahl, how's it going? Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Huh. Well, let me guess. So, Just she's basically right? going to be the uh, people trying to wife down here all of, the time. I believe, the Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right whatever? place. What can I get you? Oh, uh, let's see. What's on the menu? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, <laughs> but it'll keep you going. Gee, thanks. It makes me feel really great about myself. Ooh, stim packs. So, uh, the way that bartering works in this game, depending on what your skill is, they will either buy things from you for more or sell you things for less. And those two are mutually exclusive. I don't know why 
worded it like that. But they have 135 caps, which means if I want to sell some stuff, uh, for example, if I wanted to sell my perfect pistol, for some reason I have it equipped, or I just want to do that, you'll notice the 135 with the arrow pointing towards us is grayed out, which means we'll be selling it at a deficiency, which means that they won't be able to give us more caps than what we're giving them, if that makes any sense. But we can still buy stuff, and depending on just things... It's really easy to pick up on. Remember us if you need and something. because our bartering is really low right now, it would probably be in our best interest not to deal with too much of that immediately. So here we've got our undetonated atomic bomb and unique explosive 25. And we've also got crazy, insane Confessor Cromwell. We'll talk with him a little later. He's he is a very minor character, but we don't need to worry about him quite yet. To Crater Side Supply, even though we should probably head over to Moriarty Saloon, um, I would like to get the Wasteland Survival Guide out of the way, or at least the first chapter, because this is always my first step, because it's a nice introduction to the Wasteland, and it also gives us a nice foot in the door in terms of creating our character. Now here we've got ourselves a very strange character, Miss Moira Brown, and we've also got ourselves just random ass mercenary. We'll take a look around in here. Uh, you'll notice when things are red, that means uh, if you're being looked at, you'll get really bad karma for getting into their stuff. And so that you typically want to avoid that when you have a super low sneak or if they're watching you. So let's go talk to Moira. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Mm. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Well, you look funnily like a broom. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Okay. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. About It'd be wasteland. great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? It's interesting you should say that. Uh, let's see. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you could say a couple of different things to kind of determine the, uh, just the outcome of what the book will read. Because eventually when it's finished, you do get a copy of it. And sometimes it can be really funny. Um, but that's mostly if you're being a sarcastic dick in that case. So, uh... Well, yeah, where'd you get the vault suit back there? Actually, yeah, I got a lot to say about Great. life in the vault. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Yeah. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> all right, it was paradise down there. No worries, no fear, no fighting until Dad left. Uh, let's see. I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. Uh, yes, bow before my glory. Oh, certainly, your majesty. <laughs> then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. Wow. <laughs> However, you may consider going incognito. Wow. People around here don't always take kindly to monarchy, you know. Well, thank you, Moira. That'll be good for the book. In fact, yeah. want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got ourselves an armored Vault 101 suit, which is awesome that she gave us, because I'm going to wear that immediately. So, uh, let's see. Pay, what sort of pay? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, what? testing an experimental device, like and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. Are you kidding me? Stuff, you know? Oh, God. But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Um, Interested? Radiation I can deal with, getting my limbs blown off, and, you know, raiding supermarkets, that's fine by me. But if I have to do any semblance of reading, go fuck yourself, you stupid butch. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, hmm. like a wasteland survival guide. Yeah, because that For would that, make sense. I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. <sighs> Nobody's ever happy when that happens. Okay. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. So what's interesting is that the wasteland, a.k.a. the way that this entire world has been has been for the last 200 years. All right, I'm not even kidding you. 200 years ago, an atomic war broke out, the Great War, and she is just now writing a How to Survive in the Wasteland Guide. You would think that probably has been done before and infinitely better at some point in time. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, can't wait to help. 
good enthusiasm. <laughs> now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Excellent. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? A little bit, I Which guess. Which do you want to do first? So she's actually going to let us choose, and because I don't want to just record for hours and then just cut it up into like 10 minute bits, I'm going to try. I'm just going to record and then stop when I do, and that's going to be the video. So, um, getting food, radiation, or landmines. I say radiation just because that's a little bit quicker. Well, that's what I need your um, help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, hmm. but I never seem to get a live example. Oh. Not for long, anyway. Interesting. So, I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning uh, so I can study its effects. Uh, oh, not a deadly dose, of course. Okay. I can fix you up before that. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm, so you want me to get irradiated? How could that possibly be worth it for me in any variety? Oh, don't worry so much about it. <laughs> I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, gee, thanks. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. Mm. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. All right, um, you know what? I guess so. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back, or I'm gonna have to sue a bitch. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Smart ass. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. <laughs> but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. All right. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Well... Thank you about that. So, let's see. Uh, ask me about your work and all my research. And we'll talk a little bit more about this later. Now we have uh, Moira's it's a big wasteland, wasteland Survival Guide But you know with. that better than me, right? And so, for most quests, uh, you do get an optional side quest to do with it. And this one is easy enough that all we pretty much have to do is just get irradiated even more. Which is, you know, if we're already getting irradiated, might as well just go the entire mile. And the easiest, fastest way just to do it right here is just to drink a lot of water here. You get 18 rads a second, or 20 here, in order to, uh, you know, accumulate a little bit more in that corner there. Now, you want to be careful about your advanced po or your advanced radiation sickness, because, holy shit, that guy keeps talking. Because depending on how high it gets, it actually makes it much more difficult to play the game, which means I would recommend not being irradiated for as much as you can, and I accidentally skipped that, but we just have basic, or minor rat poison, rather. And so for each little, like, dot there, I forgot what those things are called, but for each line that's there, that's 200 rads, and we need to get to the third one there, so that's nice. Uh, God, can you shut up, please? I'm trying to drink this water here. You call yourself a fan? Well, guess what? I doubt it. All right, let's just speed this up just a little bit. And there we go. All right, so our radiation has increased. Now we are sick with critical rad poisoning. Um, so that is not great. Um, did you guys ever watch that movie? I completely forgot what it was called, and I was trying to think of it. Um, but it was basically the one where they go to Chernobyl, and uh, they get locked in there, and then they all contract severe advanced radiation poisoning, and then they died. Could you imagine what it would feel like? being radiated with just the I can't even imagine it's it, it seems like it would be such a painful thing but like a pain that you typically will never have experienced in your life just a sheer luck but uh actually hold on before we do anything else I would very much like to equip our brand new armored vault 101 jumpsuit which increases our small gun and energy weapons which is nice I'm gonna do that and now we look even better than ever if not a little bit more generic all right, Moira, what you got for me? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Uh, or a bit over the Geiger counter? Okay, okay, can I slap this asshole, please? Eh, whatever, so, uh, I'm not really comfortable with getting irradiated. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about as irradiated as you can get. Oh, wow, she seemed really interested in that just then. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Uh, I'm now, not just pregnant. Hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, tell me how what feels. <laughs> if I listen closely, I can hear my genes crying. Let's try that. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Oh. Fascinating. She's actually, hmm. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. 
I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? I guess so. But what's interesting okay. is that depending on what skill you mill, have in your special magnets, skill set, depending on what you have up, you'll be able to use uh, certain well, other uh, dialogue options. Oh, that's and the yes, good thank news. You. But there was a little side effect. Uh, a teeny tiny um, mutation. That's not a mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. <laughs> Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Oh, wow. Thank you. So, Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. When you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, which is what we pretty much just had, uh, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Your limbs can be crippled in this game, and depending on what they are, like if your head is crippled, you know, you won't be able to focus as much, or if your arm's crippled, you won't be as accurate. If your leg's crippled, you won't be able to walk, uh, they'll now be able to regenerate, but that's only when you're suffering from <laughs> radiation poisoning. So let's go ahead and continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe um, it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. All right, that sounds good. I need someone to research how to oh, travel through a minefield. You're just telling me what we need to do. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. And so depending on um, you know what optional quests you choose, uh, depending on whether or not you complete that, the higher level you are, the more things you'll get. You notice we got like Rad X and Rad Away. We'll get more of those if we're at a higher level, which means it would be a decent idea to wait until later. But we're going to go ahead and just get this out of the way for the experience. Well, and such. food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. Yes. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. <laughs> All right, so we'll check out the super duper mart because what other place would there be to oh, look? Oh, great. Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. All right. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Will do, Moira. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's see. Uh, yeah, what what are her thoughts on disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Hmm. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? I guess so. Uh, let's see. Uh, she also has things for sale, which is pretty cool. We've got, um, she'll actually sell us a really nice schematic that we sure can use thing. for later. And personally, I don't use schematics very much in uh, playing in just my playing style in general. And so there's nothing we can buy here because I have no caps, but we'll come back to that in just a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and leave, and I'll try not to die. Thank you, Moira, for your kind words of wisdom there. And actually, why was I equipped with that? That's interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, leave Megaton, shall we? And uh, deal with ourselves some nice little optional things here. So we need to head off to the Super Duper Mart. Not going to be super far away, but... Uh, Fortunately, we can't take Jericho with us. That would be kind of an interesting thing. Why do you keep waiting up here? You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Well, depends, big boy. Which of you guys is most like Rick Grimes? Just kidding. So, Gates of Megaton. Fantastic. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Fallout 3. Uh, looking at my clock, though, I feel like we're not going to be able to make too much progress here. But um, that's fine, because once that's all out of the way... I have a feeling we'd be able to finish off the first chapter in the next part. But uh, we can Some go ahead and grub. view things. Buy the brass lantern. Oh, gee, thanks for that shameless advertising. Hey, you! Stop! Where are you going? I really like... Mickey? Water. What the hell? Please, do you have any water? Uh, I'm so thirsty. No, I have no water, which is uh, <laughs> not a good thing. I've been drinking this irradiated shit. Man. Huh. I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, mm. please. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any, but mm. please, if you find some, please. Okay. I think. All right. Fine. If I find any water, I, I will Mariarty. be sure to try and share with you. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. We need to switch our mission because I think it's still telling us to look for Dad. Yeah, following in his footsteps. Nope, we got the Wasteland Survival Guide to get loaded up on. Now, I believe there are three chapters that we need to indulge ourselves with. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just do them sporadically. I'm not going to do them all at once because some get a little bit difficult for our skill level. So I'll be alternating between side quests and other side quests. And uh, beating this game regularly does not take very long. As per Bethesda tradition, it usually doesn't. So that's just 
you know, a thing that'll happen. But God, just look at this place. I don't know about you guys, but I found that the wasteland, this area in Fallout 3, to be so much more engaging and immersive than uh, the Mojave Desert in New Vegas. And I love the New Vegas levels and world and just all of that. Just that uh, it was awesome as well. But this just has so much more of a personality in my opinion. And I'm getting attacked, aren't I? Yeah, it's this asshole. Is this a bloat fly? What are you, what are you, who, why are you shooting at me, good sir? We'll go shoot you in the face a couple times and miss a point blank range because why the hell not? Jeez, that thing is really. Uh, oh, okay, he's. Are you need help going home, sir? Well, there you go. You're home now with your family. Wow, bloat fly meat. Don't need that. All right, let's get out of here and uh, head off to the super. Is that it right over there? Huh. Is this? I think this is just water. This may indeed just be water. Some of these water towers, you can actually go to their base and drink water out of them, but, you know, for 20 health, 9 rads isn't really worth it when we don't particularly need it. And there's this wreckage over here. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's our destination right there, but I don't know. I feel like if I start going over there, it'll put the video too long, and I don't know. If you guys like longer videos and you just want to see them twice a week I don't know some people would rather have like daily short videos but I don't know I think in the long run it'd be kind of cool to do things otherwise why is there an ammunition box in here uh, interesting we got a skeleton skeletons he looked like he killed himself that's really depressing there are gonna be many ways we be seeing uh, people die over the course of this game or how they died Just look at there's a teddy bear that is very aww it's so sad Time to burn it on the thing there. All right, so pilot light. Um, there are gonna be a lot of collectibles and like scrap metal, like the pilot light we could use in order to, uh, what, what is the word? I'm just gonna say to craft things, basically. And uh, I might not indulge myself immediately with doing that, but eventually I will go over it. Oh, over here, ooh, Chinese Army Special Ops Training Manual. I'll take that for exactly $1 and a carton of cigarettes. Take that to sell for later. Okay, there's somebody near me. It's telling me caution, but I don't see. Okay, I'm hidden again. What the hell is that? Um, there are random encounters depending on... Okay, I'm going to show you guys the map really fast. But basically, depending on what square we're on, you can't really tell from here. Um, things will spawn at random. I, I'm pretty sure they do. And depending on what spawns, I could easily get killed by a... What are those called? death mires or whatever death something they're incredibly difficult to kill especially early on and uh those things can spawn and kill you uh raiders can come and kill you uh, amongst other things and you just want to keep an eye out because the wasteland is incredibly unpredictable and that's what i love about it is that it's going to be different every single time you play it and regardless of what you choose you know the, the game will go on but i don't know should we should we go in here? Should we deal with the stuff in the supermarket? I feel like oh that's not good. Oh I got pushed back there. That was weird. Uh, was oh there's people over here. I discovered the super duper mark. Wait who's that? That's my friend, Wasteland Merchant. I'll save you. Don't run away. Ugh. All right Raider, quit being a dick to this merchant. I wonder if he'll give me something if I save him. All right death. Thank you. Thank you. Your head was crippled. Thusly it exploded in a manner of gratuitous death. Did he die? Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, that was unreasonable. Shit. Oh, my God. How did you do that with the pistol, man? All right, well, time to shoot your stupid face off. There it is. Yeah. All right. Christ. Anyone else over there? Thank you, Karma, for breaking the fourth wall and showing me. Okay, I think they're all dead now because I'm hidden. Huh. Interesting. So let's search this guy. Saw it up. Ooh, nice. I'll take that for a dollar. And what about, uh, or should I say for a bobble cap? Oh, Wasteland Merchant died. What is this? A note. Huh. Don't need, ooh, bartering. That would be pretty good for later. Except I don't really want to waste it on, on clothes. <sighs> and, uh, let's see. Search Raider's face for a pistol that he apparently, and he had sadist armor. So that's always nice. All right, what the hell? It's over here. Oh, an enclave, enclave, robot thing. Spreading their propaganda and shit. Alright. 
So those uh, those outlines of squares, those are basically, if you follow them, you'll be able to find areas that we have not yet discovered, and that would be good for us in discovering most, if not all of them. And so we've got a vending machine here, Nuka-Cola, gonna go and pick some of that up. Um, what's interesting about Nuka-Cola, actually, is that they're a pretty good item to use to heal yourself, and um, let's go ahead and take a look at that real fast. Where the hell are my items that I can drink and things? Aid, right? Okay, never mind. I was looking at the Chinese thing, and I was thinking that was notes. Um, whenever you use one of these, you actually get a bottle cap, and that's pretty nice. And you don't get an empty bottle, which are things you can find. And uh, whenever you see Nuka-Cola Quantums, make sure to pick those up, all right? At the very least. And you should be good to go. And man, this would be a really nice place to shop if, you know, there were none of these bodies being hung from the lights and the ceiling and such. So, ladies and gentlemen, next time on Fallout 3, we are going to go ahead and run inside the Super Duper Mart and encounter ourselves a couple of raiders, but not without taking them out with great retribution, all right? This is our first step into the wastelands. Hope you guys join me next time, and we're going to have a little bit of fun, all right? See you guys there.